Good morning. We just reached 100 subscribers, so I want to say thank you to everybody who's joined so far. Uh, today we're taking a look at dampening and trying to remove some of the low frequency sounds. I have a few different things that I picked up, mostly from the dollar store. I have these pieces of rubber. These are meant for furniture. I have these pieces of rubber, which are for computer cases. And the important part is I have this high density foam. Feeling is like a memory foam. These rubbers I'm using to lift and create a little bit of extra space underneath the printer. These pieces of foam are going to do the dampening for us today. So it doesn't really matter what you buy, buy what you can find and put it together how you want to put it together. The only thing that is important is the bottom layer should be the foam. I'm going to use two pieces of the foam. This is just from the dollar store. I don't know how it's going to hold up over time, but we'll see. We might have to replace it. The basic idea is good though, I think. So that's it, just a little bit of extra height. And the extra height is going to help a lot in my next video. And the important point is we've got the high density foam to help with the dampening. Let's get an audio sample of the Z-axis moving. And now I'm going to put on the new rubber and dampening foam. Okay, I don't know. I forgot to push record or something. So already I stuck the foam on. I have the bottom off for my next video I'm working on. Uh, I left the original pads on just at the moment. Uh, probably it's better if you take it off and put these near the end. Mm, but it shouldn't matter too much. At least for hearing the noise, this is enough for now. So let's take a listen to it. And I've marked down the positioning, so we should be able to get the same microphone position. Yeah, so this is much quieter now. Uh, we still have the high frequency sound, but the low frequency sound is gone. This has really done an excellent job for dampening. And I want to say thank you to, I need to look at the name. I want to say thank you to Job Job Later. They were the one that suggested I try some foam similar to foam used in the doors of cars for insulating sound. This was really a good suggestion. I had tried to use the uh, thicker concrete blocks. Actually, now they're supporting this table. Uh, but it didn't work for me in my case. So I would suggest you try both. Try the thick concrete blocks and try also this foam at the same time. And that's it. It's quick and simple, doesn't cost a lot, and it can help you cut down on some of the low frequency noise and get your printer running a little bit quieter. So. Thank you for watching and see you next time.